Tragic Heroism, Pablo Hernandez Cruz Sacrifices Life to Save Two Children from Drowning. A tragic incident unfolded on Wednesday, July 17, when Pablo Hernandez Cruz, 49, lost his life after rescuing two young boys from drowning in the Great Egg Harbor River in Hamilton Township, New Jersey. Hernandez Cruz's heroic actions in the face of imminent danger have earned him the title of a true hero. According to an Atlantic County Press release, Hernandez Cruz spotted an 8-year-old and a 12-year-old in trouble while they were swimming in a prohibited area of the river. Despite the risks, he plunged into the water to save the children. After successfully bringing both boys to safety, Hernandez Cruz was tragically swept under the water himself. First responders and bystanders quickly found him and administered CPR, but he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Atlantic County Public Safety Director Michael Fedorko explained that Hernandez Cruz likely got trapped in a 10 to 12 foot deep hole in the river, which made it difficult for him to escape. He saw the kids were in trouble, he went in to help get them out, Fedorko said. We believe this is what happened. There's a hole in that river, it's about 10 or 12 feet deep, and we think he got sucked into the hole and had trouble getting out. The 12-year-old boy was treated for injuries at a nearby hospital and has since been released. The 8-year-old, however, was transferred to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, where he remains under care as of July 19. Public Information Officer Linda Gilmore expressed the community's grief and admiration for Hernandez Cruz. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families, and Mr. Hernandez Cruz is certainly thought of as a hero for risking his own life to save the lives of those two young children, she said. He may have risked his life for two children that he may not have known, he's really a hero. Atlantic County Executive Dennis Levinson issued a statement urging park visitors to heed posted warnings about the dangers of swimming in the river. This is a beautiful park that is enjoyed by many for canoeing, kayaking, picnics, and barbecues, but the water is deep and can be dangerous for swimmers, which is why we prohibit swimming," Levinson said. The park was closed following the incident and is expected to reopen on Saturday, July 20. Paul and Hunter Horsey, father and son who were at the scene afterward, spoke to Fox 29 Philadelphia about the hazardous part of the river. Paul recounted what others at the river said, he actually pushed the kids to where they could reach him. He added, yeah, he saved them, and then he went under. He probably couldn't get back to the shallower water. Hernandez Cruz's brother-in-law, Joe Pagliuca, created a GoFundMe page to raise money for Hernandez Cruz's wife and two daughters, one of whom is pregnant. Pagliuca described Hernandez as an amazing father, husband, and cook man, could he cook. He highlighted Hernandez's dedication to his family, especially during his preteen daughter's battle with cancer in 2017, when he sacrificed his career to care for her. Pagliuca paid tribute to Hernandez's selfless act, telling ABC6 Philadelphia, he is an ordinary man living an ordinary life, who managed to save two children and allow them now to grow up to live full lives and have families, and sacrificed his own in the process. The community continues to mourn the loss of Pablo Hernandez Cruz, a man whose bravery and selflessness have left an indelible mark. His actions serve as a poignant reminder of the dangers that can lurk in seemingly serene environments and the incredible impact one person can have on the lives of others. Would you like me to generate an image depicting Hernandez Cruz's heroic act, perhaps showing him rescuing the children from the river?